Hello, fifth and sixth graders. So I wanted to touch base with you this week as you are working on your Beyond the Border project that is due Friday. Uh, I wanted to give you a few pointers and talk to you a little bit about identifying basic shapes and a composition and therefore how to work on the project furthermore. So I'm gonna change my phone to focus on the table and we'll get started. Okay, so the one thing that we talked about in class when we looked at some images was how to identify shape within a composition. So I gave them this picture of two fish and I asked them to look for generic shapes within the fish. And we were able to identify that the heads, no matter what angle they're in, have a triangle type of head. We also noticed that the body also has a cone shape or a very narrow triangle that just happens to be curved as the fish is swimming. So taking that information, we were able to then identify just the basic shape. So a cone, I mean a triangle for the head and maybe a cone for the body. But as you bend that cone, you were able to get more of a realistic shape for your fish. And then with that basic head shape, of a triangle, we could then go for it and, and get the proportions correct and add the tails and other things that you see on the fish. So starting off with real basic shapes allowed us to then add all the details that we would see, like the bend of the head, the curve of the body, where do the um, side fins attach, so then we could add these basic shapes um, along with maybe more detailed head shapes once we have that basic idea down and where would the eyes fall and that type of thing. And now once you get that, you're able to sketch a more realistic picture. So for the actual composition for class, you are asked to do a beyond the border. That means every I did a one and a half inch um, line around the edges to create a frame. Then using my sketch of um, knowledge of shape, I can then add my fish. So I want my fish to come um, beyond the border of this rectangle, hence the name of the lesson. So if I put the head shape and then the body curving beyond the border, now I have a generic idea of where my composition is going to go for this part. And then I can add all of these other fun details like the coral in the picture. And if it goes beyond the border as well, it would be it would not be colored. The only thing that is colored in, um, as I just kind of lay these out here. So when I go to color this, everything inside this border is colored, including the background. But the only thing that would be colored for anything beyond the border is just the main image. So just the parts of the fish, anything, any of the coral or seagrass that comes, like if I had seagrass come out like this, this part would be colored over here, but this part would not, this part would remain black and white. Okay, so I hope that helps you uh, with your composition moving forward. Try to make your focal point asymmetrical. Remember, it needs to be off center and the main uh, part of your drawing piece. So you want to uh, make it pretty big. Don't make it so tiny it's hard to color. And then you can add, like I said, all kinds of other embellishments inside the picture um, that you see in your image or that you see in your mind that you would like to create within this particular composition. So hopefully that helps you guys and I look forward to seeing what you have uh, created this week and um, I can't wait till we begin our next project. So take care.